Well, hello, my lovelies. So nice of you to join me here in the sunny greenhouse on this very fine day. We went off to town this morning to put our entries in for the 113th Falmouth Spring Flower Show. I don't know if I should give too much away here just in case any of my competitors are watching, but I can reveal I will be putting one entry in to the floral art class. I've only ever man managed a third prize before, which I was very proud of, but this time I'm going to see if I can maybe get a second or a first, but that is very, very first competition in the floral categories. I will also be putting in some succulents and camellias for the first time this year, camellias too. And the kids will be doing something arty and crafty um, along with um, their little cousins as well, my nephews. So if they've got one week to do that, so they better get on with it. But here I am in the greenhouse and I thought while I'm here, I'm here, I'll just quickly show you the succulents and then I'll show you what we spotted in Falmouth Town this morning. So this is an unheated greenhouse and because of that, some of my succulents did succumb to the winter frosts, which were quite prolonged this year, but some are coming into flower, which is rather nice. So I don't have nearly as many succulents as I normally do. Look, you can see these stumpy things here. Oh dear, but they are starting to grow back. And um, some more shells and succulents. Here we are at Falmouth's Municipal Building on the Moor. On the first floor is the art gallery, um, but we're off first to the ground floor where the library is to hand in our flower show forms. Look at those original tiles. Oh, gorgeous. There's always something to do in this library. I think I found where it goes, what you see. A lot of libraries here in the UK have become warm hubs this winter, somewhere nice to go with energy prices being so high. Here you could do some knitting or crocheting or play a board game. Ah, some nice house plants. And just outside the window are banana plants. They grow quite well banana plants here in Cornwall, though we don't get the actual fruits, really. And in the children's area, a Lego club. Something that Falmouth Library and the Art Gallery are known for, the beautiful automatas. Okay, I think something's opening up. Oh, 
wait, that is, that is. <laughs> reflections again. Hold on, I guess. They're going, the people are coming up again. In the art gallery, I absolutely fell in love with this Kurt Jackson painting. I have a weird obsession with pits. And in my last video, I visited Cornwall's clay country over St. Austell Way. And on my blog, I've also photographed pits in the past. All Quiet Now, Dorothy, is the title. Lovely squiggles. Oh, and the color of the water is amazing. It's just so atmospheric. Another painting by Kurt Jackson, this time the subject is rock pools. I could just look at his paintings all day long. So, there we go. Entries are in for the flower show. Here's some of my spring flowers in the garden. The red camellias have just started to flower. Um, but I'm hoping for better blooms for next weekend. These ones are looking a bit battered here. These pink ones are very nice. And azaleas are just starting to pop out. And we've also got forget-me-nots as well. Thank you for watching. Bottoms up. Hopefully this time next week I will be celebrating with something a little more sophisticated than books pierced from Lidl. Anyway, <laughs> take care. Catch you soon. Bye bye.